And I wanted to ask you about hacking an ATM when you were 10 years old. Oh, that's so cool. I'm glad you asked me about this. So I never actually have told anyone this like on YouTube or on record. So this is cool. It's just a tweet that you saw. Mm -hmm. um, and that's awesome. So here's what happened. Um, and I think we're past the statute of limitations. So um, I don't know if you've ever been or if the listeners have ever been to a place that has an ATM where when you get your money out, you don't get money. You get a receipt that says, take it to the nearest vendor to get your money. So that's how this ATM worked. And because it was on the property of the amusement park. At the time, I was like 10, maybe 11. I had just started getting into skateboarding and hanging out with the skateboard kids enough that I knew my friend's older brother and his friends loosely, very loosely. And I'd also seen this specific ATM many times. I had seen the door open with the guy servicing the ATM, and I'm very inquisitive. And I don't know if it's because I've seen Terminator too many times or whatever, but I would always be asking the dude questions. You know, he's like servicing the machine. Same thing when I would see people working on arcade games in the arcade. I would just ask them questions, you know, like, what, what are you doing? What's in there, you know? And I knew the layout of the machine behind the plastic of the ATM that you normally see. It had these buttons under the screen. So, like, picture the screen of the ATM. It's like a six-inch cube or whatever. And there's those buttons on the right side that you could press or whatever. Behind the plastic, there's, like, service buttons under the screen that you can't touch when the case is closed. This specific day, though, that I was there, I noticed that the case wasn't locked properly or wasn't closed. It was loose. You could shake it back and forth about an inch and a half from the screen, the front, the whole front of the ATM. And so I was reaching into the thing, and I was pressing buttons and figuring out how to navigate the menu. I was getting into the service menu, and I was making it reprint tickets that it had recently printed. And then I was like, oh, shit, these are reprinted. Like, I can take these and go get money. But I was so young, I didn't have a bank account or anything. I didn't know if it was, like, legal for a kid to have a bank account or an ATM card. or, And I, so I had, like, you know, a couple grand of them saved up in my pocket of these papers. I got, like, the higher receipts that I saw, the 300, the 500 ones. And I was, like, getting scared. I was going to go try and do it, but I was super scared. And then I seen my friend's older brother's friend, a random dude, and then I told him and he was like, oh, yeah, it's on because we were always running little random scams or whatever. So he turned him in for cash, came back, gave me my thousand. We broke bread. He left. I spent the whole thousand in a day at the amusement park. I bought, you know, a couple kids and myself annual passes to laser tag, ate all kinds of junk food, had like 10 kids with me. And we were just cashing $20 bills into tokens like nothing and just like we were beating four player games in the arcade with actual tokens from the beginning to the end. And I didn't know who all these kids were. They were just the kids who were there that day. And I just kept putting tokens in the machines. Like it was literally the funnest thing ever. But at the end of the day, maybe I was just getting ready to leave and I got apprehended by some security guards and they pulled me into the security office and they questioned me. And like, I was super scared because I hadn't ever really been in serious trouble before thought I was going to jail. I think I thought they were real cops too. And they just couldn't figure anything out. And I was like, I kind of basically told them what happened and they didn't believe me. And they're like, going to let me go. And they searched me. I think I might've got scared and turned out my pockets. I don't think I needed to, but I didn't know my rights or anything back then. And in my pocket was a note with my friend's friend's phone number. Cause he was like, dude, that was cool. Like hit me up sometime, you know? gave me his number and they just let me go as soon as they found that piece of paper in my pocket with that guy's number because they thought that there's no way I was the brains of the operation because I was like 10 and a half or 11 and a half they just let me go just let me walk right out and I didn't get in any trouble at all nothing later though maybe years later I seen that dude and he told me he got in some trouble so I don't know I was a little kid though. Like now that I'm 35 and I think about it, I kind of think that's how it was supposed to go. Like, what are you going to do to the 10 year old that hacked the ATM? You just pat him on the back and you go get the only guy you can really get in trouble. You know what I mean? No, I totally understand what you're saying. It was just cool. I really wanted to hear that story because I saw the tweet. It was recently you put that out, I think. And I was like, I need to ask him when he comes on the podcast. Yeah, about that story. no, it's super random, but I just remember I was so young and I never had any money back then. So I like, I remember I bought a wallet just to put the money in 
and then spent all the money in the whole day before they apprehended me. I had nothing on me when they caught me, had all my, but I mean, I had an annual pass to laser tag, me and a couple friends, and we continued to play laser tag all year long for free because it was a prepaid annual pass. But like, it was just, you know, I had never, I never had, I didn't have the concept of saving money. Do you know what I mean? Like I had never, I, I don't know how I was thinking, but you know, probably when I was like 25 or something, I started to be like, oh, you need to save a little bit of money, you know, cause you never know what's really going to happen. You know what I mean? You need a little bit, you know, like, but just to think nowadays, like, you know, that thousand bucks is more money than I ever had. Like, there's no way if you gave me more money than I ever had right now, I would just go and blow it. That'd be the stupidest thing ever. But that version of me, you know, that had never done anything or ever had that money. I was just like, fuck it. It's free money. <laughs> like, like, like this could have not happened, but it did. 